Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day I wish to all of you the SPM candidates 2020 and the topic for today is making final preparations for SPM 1119 stroke 1 which refers to your SPM English language paper 1 and today, boys and girls, we are going to focus on this topic, forecasting questions for continuous writing, part one, descriptive essays, which means there will be part two. Part two, I will be focusing on narrative essays. And the third part would be Forecasting questions for argumentative as well as factual essays. So I hope you will not miss any of the parts. All right, before I proceed, boys and girls, it is important that you must know forecasting questions should not be your main way to prepare yourself for your examination. And I really hope forecasting questions is also not the only way for you to make your final preparations for your SPM 1119 examination. All right? It is only an alternative way to make your final preparations. So boys and girls, when we talk about descriptive genre or descriptive essay writing for continuous writing, section B in paper one, in order for us to be able to forecast or kind of predict what could be asked. We need to see and understand the patterns. So, do you know about the patterns? Have you analyzed the descriptive essay questions before? And have you tried to identify the pattern? If your answer is no, don't worry, because today in this video, I will be sharing with you the patterns based on my analysis of the past continuous writing essay questions. Now, these are the questions. If we look at SPM 2018, the question says, Describe a problem you once had while you were traveling. Explain what you did to solve the problem and what you have learned from the experience. So boys and girls, from this 2018 question, okay, we could see that among the keywords, among the patterns would be personal experience because you had experience. And when you travel, definitely it happened outside school. And for 2018, uh, whatever story that you write for this question, whatever descriptive essay that you write, for sure you would be writing about other characters. Now, we look at 2017. Describe the first time you went on a camping trip. Again, it's your experience. So that's why, or that is how, I come out with this keyword, personal experience. And then, for sure, camping is done outside school. No doubt, camping can also be done within the school compound, but um, for this question, it is also possible for the camping activity to be carried out outside school. And 
you should write about the activities at the camp and explain how you felt about the experience. Definitely, boys and girls, to describe this camping experience, you also need to write about others. So that brings us to another keyword that is involve others. Next, 2016. What is the best way to help teenagers stay fit and healthy? To me, this is a descriptive essay question because you have to describe the best way to help teenagers stay fit and healthy. So again, the clear pattern is seen. That is personal because you yourself is a teenager. So you have to share, you have to present your own ideas how to stay fit and healthy. However, uh, there is a, a bit of different pattern here because to me, another keyword for 2016 question, we could say it is about making decision. Why? Because to stay fit and healthy, surely there are different ways. There are various ways. So the question asks you only to describe the best way. That's why to me, you have to choose one and you have to make a decision. We can also say that for 2016, uh, the pattern involve others can still be included because sometimes when you exercise, okay, there are certain kinds of exercise that would involve others. Okay, if you choose exercise as the best way to stay fit and healthy, all right? Even if you choose, let's say, uh, playing football, okay, as the best way to stay healthy, you cannot be playing football alone. So it involves others. Next, 2015, describe what makes you happy and explain why. So boys and girls, one keyword which forms the pattern for the descriptive essay questions is personal. Okay? It is not about other people's happiness. It is about your happiness. Okay, 2015. Describe what makes you happy. And again, you have to make decision. Definitely, there are different ways, different things, different people that can make you happy. However, you need to choose some. Okay, as your essay question can only be written in about one hour. 2014, describe an important family celebration and how you felt about it, all right? So again, it is your family celebration and uh, the pattern or the keyword outside school comes back, okay? And for sure, this essay, okay, we cannot run away from the keyword, another keyword that is it involves others. All right. Now, what came out in 2019? This is the, this is the question. Write about the day you first met your best friend. Describe where you were. All right, so for this question, the first requirement you have to describe your first, the first time you met your best friend, where you were and how you began talking to each other. Then you have to explain, you have to describe how your friendship has developed since that time. So once again, boys and girls, it's very clear for descriptive essay questions from 2014 until 2019, all right? It involves personal experience. You have to write about your personal experience. And sometimes 
it happen outside school, all right? It can also happen in school. And for sure, for the essay, you need to describe other characters as well, because the descriptive essay that you will write would also involve others. So even though now is 2021, but we refer, uh, we refer your SPM as 2020, all right? So what kind of other personal experiences that could be asked? Will it happen outside school? Will it happen in school? And will it also involve others? So how would you forecast the question? Now, this is my personal view, all right? For sure, I do not know what is the exact question which Lembaga Paprisaan would ask you for continuous writing, all right? I do not know. However, as I mentioned earlier, based on the examination, based on the analysis of the past descriptive essay questions, okay, I could identify certain patterns based on the keywords found in the question. So boys and girls, we are going to use those keywords. We are going to use the pattern to talk about uh, descriptive essay questions for SPM 2020. All right. Now we are going to look at personal experience outside school. It could be school trip or educational visit or, or you and perhaps your friends went to a book exhibition. So far, uh, these have not been tested yet or these topics have not been touched on yet. All right. The next one would be a charity event such as a beach cleaning project or visiting an old folks home. It could also be leisure, leisure activities such as shopping, picnic, vacation or going for a holiday and hiking. And another possible topic okay, under activities outside school or the experience outside school could be family or social activities, such as Kotoroyong, reunion, family day, or even a birthday celebration. So you see, boys and girls, there are many possibilities. That's why actually it is not that easy for you to make an exact forecast of the descriptive essay question. However, boys and girls, certain questions okay, which, are in, which are important must uh, be taken into serious considerations. Now, what are the questions? As you can see, the ones in the blue box, first of all, okay, whatever experience, all right, uh, that you prepare or you forecast, you need to consider these questions. First of all, what did you do? What are your roles? Now, these two questions are very important because remember, the descriptive essay question always asks you to describe your personal experiences. Therefore, I repeat, what did you do? What are your roles are very important. So when you prepare for your SPM 1019 examination, let's say you take one topic, a beach cleaning project. 
So think about what did you do. You also need to describe what are your roles. All right. Now the next part, because if you remember one of the keywords or one of the patterns which I have mentioned is involve others. So that therefore. When you make preparations for your descriptive essay, boys and girls, remember these questions: Who did you see, or who did you meet, and what did he do or she do? All right, what did she do? So, let's say we take another topic: reunion. Who did you meet at the reunion? All right, and perhaps what? Let's say let's say the answer is I met my old classmate. All right. So the next question: What did you and your classmate do? <coughs> Excuse me. And the next question would be: What did you feel and why? Okay, now don't forget this question. What did you feel and why? Because this is also a part of your description about your personal experience. Okay, and the last part, it cannot be seen clearly. Where was it? Okay, where it happened? All right. Next, we are going to look at personal experiences in school. All right, as I say, it could happen in school, it could happen outside school. So to equip yourself better, boys and girls, we are going to look at some examples of topics. Okay. Uh, to describe your experiences uh, in the events or in the activities that happen in school. First of all, we have class party, group project, or it could be one of the the important days in school, such as canteen day, teachers day, or a speech day. Besides, you also know in school we have sports events, sports day, cross country, or marching event, and perhaps your school also organizes a special event where a celebrity or a VIP came to your school. And another topic would be. Co-curricular activities such as co such as competitions. I'm sure you know drama, debate, or marching competition. All right, boys and girls. Now, is the same thing. Whatever events that happen in school. All right, these questions should be. Taken into consideration when you try to describe your personal experiences. First of all, what did you do? What are your roles? All right, who did you see or who did you meet? And what did he or she do? Or what did you and the person do? Okay, where did you? What did you feel and why? All right. Uh, let's say you felt so happy. You should prepare yourself by giving a description why you felt happy. All right. If you felt scared, let's say, you also need to prepare yourself why you felt scared and where was it. Held, all right. So we have talked about 
examples of possible. All right, boys and girls, I repeat, possible uh, events or activities. Okay, that you could describe in the examination. So now we are going to look at some forecast questions. Why do I put inverted commas, boys and girls? Surely the reason would be we do not know for sure. I do not know what is the exact descriptive essay question that would be asked in the examination. All right. So uh, I still share these forecast questions for your practice, actually. Now, number one, describe a charity project that you were involved in. Explain what you did and the best lesson you gained, the best lesson that you gained from the project. So again, here you have to make a decision. If you remember, it, when we examine the past descriptive essay questions, one of the patterns, one of the keywords is um, making decision. So here, there are many charity projects, but you need to decide only one, all right? You should only choose only one charity project for this question. All right, and again, you have to decide what is the best lesson. Beyond doubt, you would learn, you would gain many lessons. However, for this question, you need to decide what is the best lesson. All right, so it is a good practice actually. So, to prepare yourself more for your SPM examination, you could also look at question two. Describe a surprised event organized by your family members. So, one surprised event. The keyword is surprised. Please think carefully. There are many kinds of events that your family could organize for you, but for this question, the requirement is that you need to choose one surprised event. And then you should write about how you felt and the most special guest of the event. All right, so you can list down who could be the special guests, maybe A, B and C. However, boys and girls, as required by the question, you only need to choose one, the most special guest. So these two questions are in line with the pattern for descriptive essay questions, which I mentioned earlier. All right, number one, Yes, you describe your personal experience. Number two, it happened outside school or sometimes it happened inside school. It depends on the question. And another pattern or keyword would be you have to make decision. All right. Okay. Next, we are going to look at two more questions for your practice. The third one, describe your participation in a competition with your classmates. All right. Earlier, I think I forgot to mention another uh, keyword or pattern. That is, it involves others. You need to describe your experience, but you are not alone. All right. We noticed that in some of the past uh, descriptive essay questions. So question three is also good for your practice before your SPM examination. So I repeat, describe your participation in a competition with your classmates. 
explain about all the preparations. So the next keyword, all the preparations made until your team achieved success. All right. So you need to describe the experiences and you are not alone. You have your classmates with you. Number four, boys and girls, what is the best program in school that can promote unity among school pupils? So the word describe is not there. Just like one of the past SPM questions, if you remember, what is the best way for teenagers to stay fit and healthy? Yeah, so question four follows that structure. So here, it is a descriptive essay because you need to describe. You need to describe one excellent program in school that can promote unity, all right? And you can bring in your personal experiences. For sure, you will also be able to describe other characters, other people here because we are talking about unity. So for conclusion, boys and girls, let's look at a few important matters here. First of all, based on the past questions, I would say that it is easy for us to forecast the pattern. Yes, we are able to see the pattern based on the keywords in the past descriptive essay questions. However, we do not know the exact descriptive essay question. All right, yes, we will only know what is the actual descriptive essay question on the day of your examination. Anyway, boys and girls, there is no harm to forecast questions. And here we are focusing on descriptive essay questions because it actually allows you to make focused preparations based on your preferred genre. All right? Yes, when you try to answer descriptive essay questions which have the patterns, the elements of the past descriptive essay questions, you are preparing yourself better, all right? And number four, if LPM, Lembaga Perperiksaan Malaysia, changes the pattern, let's say they choose something else, which I don't know, but I do not think so, boys and girls, please do not worry. There will always be questions that you can write about. Trust me. All right, so before we end, keep doing your best till the finishing line. Boys and girls, all of you are reaching your finishing line soon. So if you want to know what could we forecast for narrative essay questions, please watch the next video. With a note, Thank you so much.